Hello and welcome back. I haven't done a video in a while because it's summertime and I've been on vacation, but um, I thought it was time to do some more ink and make a new video for you guys. So I'm gonna do something a little different than I usually do with this um, video. First, I'm just gonna show you the things I'm using. This is my uh, Remington hair dryer. Um, always a lot of questions about this. I can't find it uh, on Amazon for you, but there is a Revlon one that is basically the same as this. So um, I'm gonna leave a link for you um, in the description box below. I'm gonna be using this. I got my two fine line applicators, this with the alcohol and this for the pinata brass. I'm going to be using some tape. This is just regular normal tape. I don't really know what this is called. Clear see-through tape. Um, don't use like painter's tape or something. That won't work. But we're going to use some tape. I'm also going to be using one of these tiny little 3D butterflies. Um, you can see the wings sort of bend out like this. Very cool. Um, I also found some of these a uh, pretty good deal actually on Amazon for you. So again, link below the box. For this piece, I'm going to use the purple one and I'm going to try and match my ink with the purple and a tiny bit of uh, pink in this one. So I've picked two Copic colors. This is violet and shadow pink. So I'm going to start off by putting down some tape on this piece. I'm going to make two lines in this direction. I'm just, I'm not gonna measure anything out. I'm just gonna go with the flow, really. And I want it to be not two completely straight lines. Let's see, I'm gonna put it right here. Just press down a little. I'm gonna take one more piece and I'm going to start down here so that they're connected on one side and then leave a little gap in between like this. Just going to press it down so it's completely stuck to the paper. I'm going to put down a little piece in the middle here. Try and make like a little square in between the lines. See if I can make this sort of fairly straight like this. Just make sure the edge doesn't go across the other piece. One more, right here. And this little square is gonna be where I will add the butterfly at the end of this. So, just gonna press down on the corners of the tape so it'll be easy to pick off when we're, when we're done. And we're going to start adding some ink. So what I want to do is make sort of, um, I don't want to create sort of any specific um, shapes or anything. I just want it to be sort of like marble sort of effect, I think. And um, some beautiful brass, of course. So I'm just going to start blowing this around on the paper. I got my paper towels. If I have some excess, I need to get rid of. Gonna start out with the purple and um, some brass. We are gonna need a little more alcohol. And I need my paper towel. Gonna add um, a little more right here. And I'm just gonna start, you know, just, oh, I forgot the brass. Just gonna work my way through on the paper and just go over the tape. Go. 
got some spots right here. Don't like that. try and add some of this beautiful shadow pick. Now this is a much lighter color than the other but I think it will work really well together. Let's try this. See what happens. I think I'm just going to switch the colors all the way around. I only got a tiny little piece of paper down here. I might get too much color on it, but that's okay. Oops. I'm blowing everything all over. There we go. I think I'm going to add a little more purple down here. And shaking the breasts. I think I actually like these two colors together a lot. What do you think so far? Can you see the brass? I think, I hope these colors are going to mix well in with the butterfly that I picked. But I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be the exact same color, but I'm going to use a little more of the shadow pink. And a lot more brass, I think. Getting all these little holes today. This is very annoying. Oh, I got a lot of brass in here. I think I need to add some more color. That was maybe a little too much, but all right.
Oh, I am liking this. This shadow pink. I forgot how pretty it was. Really, really nice. Gonna add a little more of the purple. I think in the beginning I blew most of the brass off the paper. I'm gonna try and keep it on the paper now. Gonna spread it out. See if we can end up now. I got a little piece of the paper in here. I'm gonna see what we can do with this. How far does it go right there? And then just I think just ended up with a whole lot of brass. There we go. I am loving these colors together. I'm very excited. Are you excited about these colors? I am. I love it when you sort of use colors you have used in a while and it just ends up working really, really well. Try and see if I can cover up the last bit I got. So, there we go. I am loving these colors. This has dried just a tiny little bit now, so I'm gonna try and take the tape off and hope that I get some straight, pretty lines. If there's something in there, you can remove it with just a little bit of alcohol. And I got a little bit down here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I really like this. I really like those lines. I got a little bit right here, so I'm just gonna remove that real quick. I think it's a really, really cool effect. Just gonna add a little bit of alcohol. I probably didn't press it down tightly enough, so. Here we go, I got a little down here. really liking this so I'm just gonna put on my butterfly I am going to varnish this but I just want you guys to see what it will look like with the butterfly on here it is this is self adhesive and a little bit 3d like if I can get this off here's hoping Here it goes. I think I'm just gonna do it straight on. Or should I do? No, straight on, I think. Somewhere right around 
here. Now this one is, is very easy to pick off. I'm going to do that when I varnish it. Just press these a little so it gets that 3D effect. And there you go. Now you could use something like this as like a, a greeting card. You can write on the back or maybe write inside these lines like a cute little message. You could also, I think, frame this. So I'm just going to get a mat so you can see what this would look like. Something like this. There we go. What do you think? I think this is this is fun. I think this is so much fun to use tape. You can do so many things with tape. Different directions you can make a frame around your piece. Um, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm loving the colors. I feel like they match my little butterfly pretty well. Um, I would love to hear what you think about this. This is very different than what I usually do in my videos, but I feel like this is this is fun and a, and a different way of playing with your alcohol inks. So, um, links in below the video for some of the stuff that I use and um, you leave a comment, let me know what you think about this or ask um, a question. I will do my best to answer it. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Um, and that's kind of it for this one. A little taped piece with butterfly. Alcohol ink crafting. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back again for my next video.